don't want no more trouble around here. Sorry, you must be talking about someone else. What the you do? So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. If we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was the prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Need to get moving on this, Arthur. Come on, then, hitch up. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up the sniper rifle? I'll explain. Later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here.
Good? Sure. Let's go. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in? I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. up there. Get proper view. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. That's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. <laughs> yep, that's spooky. All right. All right, let's go round them up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Those cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to herd. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Do it! There you go! There's 
some getting away. You ain't helping. What about that one back there? Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Bring that bucket here! Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Look out! Just what's your issue? Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey.
Are you coming then? Not everything, but After in the you, end, sir. I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for compromising. I fear at my age I am too old to change. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderland! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? You keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. Why not? You rob from me! Vandalin! You're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense! Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man? for the sins of another who wants to be the Messiah. Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever he may be. I am Archibald.
just want this to be over. Looks like we're clear. Let's go. Put Strauss on the back of John's horse and let's get out of here. <laughs> you make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs>
thing. Well, now. Come in, sir. Come in. You like whiskey? Uh, I mean, who don't? Take a look on that stand by the door there. Mmm, yeah, that's something special. Got my full stock in there. You seen that abandoned furniture still there down the way? Right there on the road. Can't believe nobody's taken that yet. Good business. Enjoy. The Greys had to substantially reduce their time at luncheon. Not sure what's going on there. That's the way of things. Well, you going out on the trail? Well, I've been selling a lot of those. Should be good. Happy to assist you in a moment. Hello, how can I help? Liberty is worth every penny. May you avoid troubles in the future. See you later.
go, boy.
have to go away again? Hey, folks. Oh, hello, Arthur. Is the boy behaving himself? For the most part. Hello, sirs. You join us here, Morgan? Hi there. You good? Yep. Fellers? Having a rest there, are you? And boy, have I earned it. Lots of work to do around here. <laughs> Someone should get on that. Keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. If we stop, when we find someplace sensible, shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. So, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure, this can wait. Hey, Javier. Your horse is looking well. Easy. too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. Hold. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but 
The way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. don't see it as rough. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah. They've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I'm being careful. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that.
okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? I don't mean you no harm. Are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Luther. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see none. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? Hey. We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. They picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Bastards told me they'd killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Arthur. Continues along the shore here. So you was just talking about something. Uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Yeah. said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. A year ago. I think this is the right way. Give me a second. They carry on along this trail. So, you were saying? He did. And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Yep. Up ahead. Be careful. It seems deserted. Let's take a look.
Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick. Cut him free. Let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne, Vorsicht! Take cover! I see three coming this way! What the hell do you think you're doing? What are we doing? This ain't even our goddamn fight! I thought you wanted to get this over with, Arthur. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Back to your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Bring sie mich hin. What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English.
Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Ach, oh. Andreas, Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, mein Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, ähm, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Ich guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Hi. So, what's for dinner? Dysentery again? I'm not in the mood for this. Good morning, Arthur. How's it going? You okay, Sadie? I'm no... Well, we all gotta pitch in. could turn this into something special. I don't know. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Things seem bad. The world is changing, and... I'm not making much sense, am I? No. Hey! But somehow... 
You gonna join me here? You all right, Bill? Can't believe we're running away from Cornwall. What's happened to us? It was time to move. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Morgan. Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too serious. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down and fight. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't gonna find out sooner than I'd like. What do you think, Arthur? I don't do too much thinking, Jose. Killing's more my thing. I don't believe that for a second. You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> okay, I'll catch you later, then. Now take care. Morning, Arthur. There she is. You all right, Molly? The horse. I wonder if I'll ever not smell a campfire again. I think it's in our skin now. Ladies? Morning, Arthur. Susan! Morning, Arthur. Good morning. Well, here we are, Tilly. Moved again. That's the way it goes. What? You're interrupting my beauty rest.
horses will appreciate that. Hello, gentlemen. Arthur? Uh, hello.
Arthur. Miss Karen, how you getting on? Fine so far. <laughs> and to think I was once a damsel in distress, and now they got me protecting the men. <laughs> Just stay alert. Oh, I shall do. If anyone tries anything, I'll blow their heads off. John, the thing is, we all gotta die. I know that. I, of all people, know that. Excuse me? We all gotta die, but you got the chance to live. Not just to live, to live for love. I got no goddamn clue what you're on about, Hosea. You're not as dumb as you act, John Marston. I don't understand. Be a man, John. It would suit you. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way now of course there's gonna be casualties we're thieves in a world that don't want us no more we are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts now i'll give you that but come on we got the day it's nice out 
Old Jose says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. You show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over. Gosh. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go fish. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Let's go, Arthur. What are you riding off for? Anyway, you were saying. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, it was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look who it is. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we...
can we just... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanting for? Well, the Anderson boys? Robbery, murder, kidnapping. They're the lowest of the low. Looks like a son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. What are you waiting for? I'm out right here. Move. That must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Get alongside that flat carriage. Now he's throwing bottles, the low-down bastard. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Bastards. I didn't do nothing! Ah. Go to hell! Let go! I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. <clears throat> Bring 
Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Chop, chop, don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Hey, fellas. I can scarcely believe it. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and the Braithwaites. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like 
We can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents. Some super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. <whistles> All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Come on now, boy. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. Funny. So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Easy. 
I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. But what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Head towards the middle of the lake. Here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Where's your rod, Arthur? Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big. Like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. I got a bite. There we go. Shit. Got away. You got something biting, Arthur. That's on the hook, Arthur. They're nibbling. Got them? That feels like a bite. Got one! Ah, I should have had that one. Something's nibbling. Ha! Got ya!
Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Jose, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Well done. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Nice, you hooked him. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Kaka went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. You hooked him! Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. It looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Now reel him in, Arthur. Nicely done, Arthur. That'll grill up nice. You got a bite there, Arthur.
There you go. That's a nice one. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Fish on the line, Arthur. Not bad, Arthur. Yeah, that's a keeper. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We can keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um... All right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd passed her by. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tater got burned and so did I. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three, four mariners. From the seas, we spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Me that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round and round and round, round. We care not for those martial men that do our states disdain. But we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy come pledge me on this ground of 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 ground Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know. We should not let the folks back in camp. 
I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. You know, I think I've heard enough of your opinions, miss. Is that so? Yeah. Now make yourself useful. And the first party useful is not... Arthur! Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just a... Just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. Well, or I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Oh, I'm sorry, Captain. Did they do things differently? Maybe. Yeah, they left the ladies in port. <laughs> and you preferred that, did you? Sometimes. Depending on the ladies. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> How are you? Not too good. Sorry to hear that. Oh, hey. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here? 
Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Hey, boy. Right, follow me. Hey, look out. Watch it. Easy. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there. Sitting around waiting to be told, I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? What, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes. See? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> no, that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me fee. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for them. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. What's the name? Hold on. Up here, Morgan. them to hear us coming. <laughs> 
Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right ah! here. Heads up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. Tell us with the money stash now, huh? All right. Guess we should give the place a look, see what we can find. Back to camp. Uh, should have kept one alive.
What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. And the sooner the better, please. Please, chum. You'll know a zebra when you see one. I'd come with you, you know. Only, I need to put these wagons right. Legit. Mm -hmm. <coughs> sod, stripey bugger, be a dear.
now. I ain't gonna repeat myself. Goddamn bastard. <laughs> Hey there, partner. Wait a minute there. I need to have a word with you. It's all good. Calm down. Learning side may be small, but it's still a working farm. Mind yourself. That's right. Keep going. What they done to you? Yeah. Jobs better not rub off on my pants. Yep.
Good grief! You found him! Our zebra! <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh, dear. You're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. Be a lord of the stage. Dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassuing some poor beast on the plains of mumbo-jumbo land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... <laughs> as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. Yep. Yeah, you all right there, boy? <laughs> What the hell are you doing?
Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? No, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way to go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of it. I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. Let me bring the wagon along. You paint this dog? There's some pigment here. Looks like, like blood to me. Shit. What's this? Found your dog. X dog, X lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. <sighs> That'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. <sighs> well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <clears throat> The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. Rubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, a dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Just shut it. I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. All right. 
Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. This is this comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this rank? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... Well, you can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. Well, I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Here, when the dust was up, be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know, the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go, whole caravan toppled. We found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. if you wanted to. Mr. Margaret! Mr. Margaret! Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good! Jolly good! You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin.
Let's go. We got a cursed creature in here. Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. No dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. Uh, I'll, I'll 
I'll take care of this. Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. I never seen one of those before, and I hope I don't again. Amen to that. Good boy. So, you're still alive. <laughs> Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant. Although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks. Only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs>
is taken? Go there! Let's make you all famous. A horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they try to eat us. Hmm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Now, for a few final checks. Don't mind me. I may be at this for some time.
Hurry, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. Man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Rama, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the lion? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. Yeah. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. All in good time.